to my channel. So today's video is going to be a prom inspired makeup tutorial. This is literally the third time that I filmed a prom makeup look. The first one was kind of a fail. I didn't like how the makeup look turned out and I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to my videos. I always want to offer the best quality to you guys. And then the second time, I tried to use a different uh, a different background, and it was, again, a fail. The makeup came out good, but the background was just a mess. So today, we are done, and I am really happy with the results. I really wanted to do a turquoise, bluish type of look, because I've heard a lot of people saying that they're going to be using turquoise uh, colored dresses, so that's what I was kind of aiming for. I did use uh, glitter just to spice up the look a little bit more. Feel free to just tone it down a bit without the glitter and without the double wing liner just so you can make it a little bit less glam, I guess. But I really like this look and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just wanted to say really quickly that I did get my inspiration off of Pinterest and this is a look that I try to recreate. I mean hers is like 20 times better. But it's a really nice look and I just got inspired by her work. I don't know who she is, but if you guys recognize this picture, feel free to tag whoever this is because I like to give credit where credit is due. So with that said, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. So anyways, enough rambling. Again, enjoy the video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. My eye is watering. So first I'm taking my NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone, as usual, and I'm applying that all over my lids with a synthetic brush just to adhere the eyeshadows a little bit better. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go in with a MAC eyeshadow. This is in the color Red Brick. It is really bright on camera, but it's not that bright in person. Um, if you have it, you know what I'm talking about. It's a really pretty color. You don't have to use this specific eyeshadow. Feel free to switch it up to whatever you have. Any orangey red eyeshadow works perfectly fine. But I'm taking that in a fluffy brush and I'm pretty much just applying that to the upper crease. This is going to create a really nice transitional type of color and it's going to help us blend all the colors together. I'm also going to be flicking that outwards, kind of creating a cat eye type of look. This is also going to elongate the eyes. After we've done that, we're going to go in with this eyeshadow here by Coastal Scents. It's in the color Fool's Gold. It's a gorgeous, dirty, like yellow color, like a mustard color. And this is just going to create a really nice gradient effect from yellow to orangey red, if that makes sense. So apply your color, whatever you have, and then we're going to move on to our third color. This is another MAC eyeshadow in the color Sable. It is really, really pretty. Um, it's a perfect transitional color. I believe Makeup Geek has a dupe for this if I do find it. I will list it down below, but I'm going to be applying that directly onto the crease. This is just going to warm up the eyes a little bit more, and it's going to tone down that orangey red color that we have going on on that upper crease. I'm now moving on to Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the color Panther and I'm applying that with a really thin brush directly onto the crease almost if almost like we're doing a cut crease carving it out and I do mess up right here just a little bit I go a little bit too thick but it's okay because we're just going to go back and blend out the colors. As you can see here, I just go back with that same brush and I just start blending the colors. Don't worry about blending too much yet because we are going to go back several times and repeat the process. So now I'm going to go in with a concealer brush and I'm going to start cleaning that crease color, that black color that we have going on because we are applying another color onto the base so we want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Now I'm going to go in with 
this eyeshadow here by Coastal Scents. It's in a color Viridian Green. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm applying that with a flat brush all over the lid. It doesn't really matter what specific color you use because we are applying glitter and it's definitely going to cover everything. So this is a little I uh, the little glitter that I will be using. As you can see, it's a really nice blue glitter with the e.l.f. glitter primer. This is only a dollar and it's amazing. It doesn't crease on me or, or anything like that. It does transfer a little bit as far as the glitter goes, but I don't know. I don't have any specific tricks for the glitter to stay put. So I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid, making sure that we cover that teal green color that we applied previously. Then I'm going to go back with my black eyeshadow and reapply it to the crease, just carving it out even further. This can get a little bit messy, so just make sure to take your time. If you have a thinner brush than mine, I highly suggest that you use it because as you can see, it does get a little bit thick and I mean, once you mess up, it's like you kind of have to start all over again because glitter can be a hot mess. As you can see, it is kind of going everywhere. So again, just take your time. I do go back to that MAC Red Brick eyeshadow and I start blending out a little bit further just so we have a really nice um, grading effect. After that, I'm going to apply my brows, my eyelashes, and my eyeliner. I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the color Shimma Shimma. It's a gorgeous shimmery shade to apply it underneath your brow bone or as an inner tear duct highlights. And then I go back and just blend all the colors and try to take off as much glitter as you can. Now I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner in the color Goals Mine, I believe that was the name. And I'm going to be applying that to the waterline. I wish I would have skipped this step because I don't know if I liked the gold and the black. So feel free to just add the black to the eyes. And then I'm going in and just smudging everything just to give it a little bit more of a smokiness to the eyes. And after that, we are taking a Hot Cheetos break. As you can see, my tongue was on fire, but I cannot stop eating Hot Cheetos. <laughs> so after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do that little wing eyeliner that I have going on, as you can see. I did use my NYC Liquid Eyeliner, but if you have a gel eyeliner, I think that would be nice. And as you can see, I messed up, but it's okay because we can go back and clean that with a Q-tip. So I went ahead and did that little eyeliner on the eye, and then I bring it down, and then I do go back with that black eyeshadow, and then I just smudge everything so the bottom lash line can connect to that wing eyeliner. Now I'm going to move on to face. I'm taking my Jordana Complete Coverage Foundation in the color Golden Olive and Honey Olive. These two are like my perfect shade because one is too light and then the other one's too dark. So I'm going to take a mix of both and then just apply them with uh, this beauty sponge. I believe this is the Real Techniques sponge. And I really like it. I just always forget to use it. And this foundation will give you full coverage, which is what we want for a special night like this. After that, we're going to apply our concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Creamy Beige. I really do like this concealer, but sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass to squeeze it out out of the little tube. But I'm going to apply that like a damn gorilla all over <laughs> all over my eyes and conceal and mostly brighten underneath my eyes. I had a comment the other day saying something that, uh, you know, you, you're not too light, you know, like referring that I was using way too light of a concealer, but I use it for the purpose of highlighting. So, yeah. So after that, I'm going to set my concealer with my Ben, my Ben Nye, oh wow, with my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in the color Banana. I like this because it will last for hours and it doesn't give that white cast. So you're going to be taking a lot of selfies. You do not want to look like you have raccoon eyes. So make sure that you use something that doesn't have a white cast. And I'm also going to take that to the forehead. Now I'm going to go in with the color Fawn because it's a cool tone um, color to contour. And I'm going to chisel out 
my cheekbones just to get a really nice contour. This is the e.l.f. Elf contouring brush, which I do have a full review. Let's see. Now I'm going to take the two shades that are next to Fawn on that same palette and I'm going to be bronzing up my face just to bring back a little bit more warmth to the face and pretty much even out everything. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte blush in the color Daydream. I think these were limited edition. This is a really pretty like plummy pink color and these blushes last for hours. So make sure that you pack it on pretty good because that's the first thing that kind of fades away. After that I'm going to move on to my highlight. This is an Ulta Shimmering Highlights in the color Yellow Diamond. And it does have, as you can see, that yellow undertone but I love it. I've been loving it for the past weeks. So I'm going to take that on a fan brush and apply that to my cheekbones. I know it can be a little bit too much with the glitter and the highlights but I can't help it I just can't I love me a good highlights I also like to apply that to my cupid's bow to make my lips look a little bit bigger and as you can see I did plump up my lips I have a full review on full lips um, so I will leave that link down below now I'm gonna go in with the LA girl mattes flat finish pigment gloss and this is in the color Fantasy, and then I did add a second gloss just to make it a little bit more nude, even though it looks really bright on camera. And I used the color Floor. So after that, you are done with this look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you again so much for all your support. I love you, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.